Okay now, uh, let us look at the file system structure. So as we know, the top structure in Linux is the root directory labeled as forward slash. Root directory contains all directories and files in the Linux system since it's the top, it is the top um, directory in Linux. Okay, each directory in Linux has has their own function, same like what we have in Windows, like we have document, we have the program files, each of the folders has their function. So the same thing in what we have in Linux. So given here are the key directories in the system. Okay, so as we can look at the table, forward slash is the root directory, which consists of all directories and files in Linux system. Slash etc has the system configuration files. Kiva log has the system log files. Slash home, all the home directories for all normal users. Uh, slash tmp, we store all the temporary files. So you don't have to uh, basically uh, memorize but along the way you will get familiar with all of the uh, directories so look at this figure I'm giving you the overview of all uh, directories that we have in Linux so the root is the top directory and we have all the subdirectories comes together by default. Okay. If you can see, etc has the configuration files. So password and groups are the files of um, configuration example. Okay. So the one that in square box are the directory while in the the smooth curve here is file okay so home for student one if you can see here every user's home directory located under slash home okay so we have at the moment two users which is student one and also Zara. Okay. Next is the path name. So each directory and file has path name. Path explain the way how to traverse to the directory or file from anywhere in the system. Okay. Like for example, in the previous slide, the path name for file draft okay is slash home slash student one slash draft so i don't think that you are able to get uh, the concept of this path name but let's see what's uh, in detail in the next slide okay so we look at the the explanation of home directory first so home directory is the, is a directory that contains all directory and files that belong to user that has been created in the system. For example, just now we have user student one. So we have the slash home slash student one as the student one's home. So every time when the student one log in into the system, he directly will be in that particular uh, directory. Okay. And he has the right to create, to delete, to um, to add or whatever into his home. Okay, then each time when the user login, okay, he will be in the home directory. Right. Next, how to traversing the the directory using absolute and relative path? Because we have two options, and you really need to understand these two um, ways okay the two methods so the absolute 
we look at the absolute first. So absolute path is defined as the, the specifying the location of a file or directory from the root directory. So we are going to follow the path from the root. Okay, so this technique is simple and can be used independent of user location. So it doesn't matter uh, you are in what directory. Okay, if you use this absolute path, you are able to maneuver. You have you have the um, basically the right way to traversing from one directory to another directory. Okay, uh, by using this example of directory structure, we are going to learn what is absolute relative path. Okay, so in this directory structure, we are only consider there is one user, which is student1, which created some of directories and also file. And we also consider we have one file in um, etc folders and we have five directories in under root. So in this example, we start with OS directory. So first of all, identify where is OS directory. So here is OS directory. And for absolute path, we are starting from top directory, which is root. Identify what is the path from root to OS directory. So we must follow the path given in the structure. Okay, so if we can follow the path, it is from root, we go to home. And then we go student one, then same one. Finally, we in OS. So this is the path of OS that three, which written in this slash home slash student one slash same one slash OS. So this is the first example of absolute path. Let's see the second example. So in this example, we are trying to find draft file absolute path. Starting from the top, we identify this is the root directory. This is draft. So how we are going to um, tell the system this is where the draft is located from root so we must follow the path it is from home okay slash slash home slash student one slash draft so this is the path of draft using absolute so it is slash home slash student one slash draft. I'm hoping that this is clear. Okay, so we are moving to the third and last example of absolute path. So the next one is the password file. So where is the password file? Identify that first. It is here. Okay, and then it is from root. Okay, so what is the path? So now it is from slash, we go to ATC and then password. So this is the absolute path of password file slash ATC slash password. So given a system, a user need to provide the path name so that the system will able to recognize where is the location of file so we are finished with the absolute path okay so we move to relative path 